Hello there. Presented by the Atlas Strength Shop. This is the Atlas Nerds in Iron podcast. With your hosts, Cameron Ray and Tyler Hales. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Atlas Nerds and Iron podcast. I am your host, Cameron Ray. This is co-host Tyler Hales. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. This is actually our third take trying for our very first uh, <laughs> recording. The first go around, uh, what happened is, and you'll, you'll probably see this in some of the bloopers that we'll release on IG, Tyler went to go talk and just his whole mic stand just exploded. Just too damn strong. Uh, second go around, we realized we didn't have our stage lights on. And now I'm actually realizing that... Uh, one of them is backwards, but screw it. We're going to roll with this anyway. That's right. Yep. It is all good. Uh, so we got good lighting in here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to get this started. I know we've been talking about this for a few months now. Some of y'all probably didn't think that it was ever going to happen, but here we are. And we couldn't have this happen without our chief sponsor, Unmasked Studios. He is a maker of boutique cosplay costumes. Uh, we met him at Wizard World last year. Uh I swear his costumes look just, or his cosplays, I should say, they look like something straight out of Hollywood. Uh, you're not going to find any there, any better quality. Go to his IG, check them out. It is Unmasked Studio. It's really easy to find. Uh, my personal favorite, he does a Kingdom Come Superman that I absolutely love. How about you, Tyler? My personal favorite, he rolled one out here a while back. Um, it was Homelander from the boys. Mm. Uh, the actor anthony Starr that plays homelander actually you know shared it to his instagram store and everything like that it was it was solid and just like the suit that you see in the boys uh all of all of william's suits come straight with abs so you don't have to actually do any training yeah uh so, so if you're uh if you're thick boys like us and y'all are and you're really strong but you don't have abs just get one of these costumes and uh you can have all the abs that you want so, Tyler, what do you want to talk about today, man? I don't know, man. Um, just, I guess, you know, 2020 was a rough year yeah, for it really a was. lot of people. But as far as certain fandoms go, it was a really good year. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, you had season two of The Mandalorian. You had season, what, season two of The Boys? I think it was, was it season two? Was it? Yes, it was season two. Yeah, season two. Um my goodness, uh, man, especially, you know, the Disney Investors Day, we found out that we were getting that was insane. so much Star Wars, so much MCU, um, you know, some of the more odds and ends stuff, they're launching a series about the guy that Buzz Lightyear was based on. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. Who was the guy that Buzz Lightyear was based on? A guy named Buzz Lightyear. Are you serious? Yeah. That was just, that was just like what he actually went by with yes. Buzz Lightyear? Yeah. I didn't know this. Did y'all know this? Yeah. Let us know on Instagram. Talk yeah. to us. Interact with us. We'll lo- we, we, we love the interaction. All right. So this is our first episode. So a lot of y'all don't really know what this is about. So I guess that'd be kind of a good place to start. Let people know what the format is. Let them know what to expect. Let them know who the hell we are. Sure. Um, so I am Cameron Ray. I own the Atlas Strength Shop here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is Tyler. Uh, Couldn't do this, couldn't run this place without him. He is one of our chief members. And yeah, with him and a couple other members, I really lean on them a lot. Uh, So what this podcast is going to be and the way it kind of got started is we have a Facebook group chat called the Atlas Nerds, where we realized pretty much most of the gym, or most of the guys at the gym anyway, are extremely nerdy. So we started this group chat and it was just to catch up on our favorite shows, uh, movies that come out, you know, same thing a lot of y'all probably do. And we got this idea to just go ahead and start this podcast. And as far as the format goes, it's going to be available on all platforms as far for the audio. And we're going to cut this down into snippets for YouTube as well. So we spend five minutes talking about a particular topic. We're going to snip that down and we're going to put it on YouTube. So if you're somebody who really likes going to YouTube and watching videos, there you go. It'll be perfect for you. Absolutely. Also, I want to take this opportunity to apologize for the barking you hear on the background. He is currently, that is Hercules. He's a gym mask guy. He's my dog. 
He is currently between, there are two doors in between us, as well as a lot of sound panels. And he is very upset about being separated. But anytime somebody in the gym moves, he makes that same noise. And we don't want y'all to hear that with him sitting right next to the mic. So just bear with us while he gets used to that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can figure out a solution for that soon. Absolutely. Um, you know, well, as you said earlier, that's selling for meat, right? What's that? Selling for meat. Yeah, might uh, bring him to Wuhan. <laughs> mm. Yeah, mm. introduce him to a wet market. I'm kidding. I would never do that. I love my dog. <laughs> so, Tyler, you want to tell us a little bit about your background? Um, you know, uh, mid thirties, uh, husband, father of three kids. Just uh, started started. You know, getting into straw man a few years ago with you. Am I? Yeah, you're probably a little far from the mic. Okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, move this in just a little bit. Now I can lean and be comfortable and talk into the microphone. There we go. Anyway, um, got in the strong man a few years ago, training for, you know, the contest and things like that. Met you, uh, met a lot of our incredible patrons in the Atlas gym. This is our third location. Um Bear with me. I'm a little nervous. So there you go. Uh, Look, it helps if you picture the audience naked, which I guess right now would be me. <laughs> <laughs> Since there's, we don't have a live studio right. audience. Well, um, <laughs> wow. All right. Anyway. Um, getting off to a weird foot. Whatever. Yeah, you know. It's not a foot. Not, no. <laughs> All right. We can't just sit here and giggle for an hour. But yeah, um, dad, husband, like to pick up heavy things. Um, my niche of choice as far as the nerd community goes is definitely Star Wars. Um, I've definitely would, picked that up. Yeah, no way, mm -hmm. never. Um, you know, some of the stuff that I need to delve off into as far as Star Wars goes is the novels. But, you know, I'm up to date on Clone Wars over and over again rebels watched all the movies um just i've watched both of the clone war series too there's there was an earlier one in 2003 you know i never saw that one yeah they're all on youtube so yeah, knock yourself it, out it's yeah. like i i had this faint memory that it existed but it completely exited my mind until i think it was you mentioned in the chat one day that you can actually you actually see when Anakin is promoted to the rank of Jedi Knight in that series. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, wait, there was a series before that series. Yeah. That's where General Grievous made his uh, mm -hmm. his uh, debut. Okay, it's similar to what Boba did in the holiday special yeah. back in the day. It it's like I'm hesitant to watch that one as much as I love Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I'm also a uh, I have to like the art style of an animated series in order to get into it. Like, Did you like the old like tsunami? It, it's uh, nothing like the old tsunamis though. Like I remember, like I, I watched some of the clips, right. and I can't stand the art style. And like I have that, uh, I have that problem with a lot of anime. Yeah, that people tell me it's awesome and I should get into it. Like, uh, like One Piece is a good example of that. It's an extreme. <laughs> a lot of y'all are nerds. A lot of y'all know about One Piece. So you know that it's a really long series. And that's one thing I like. I like series that have a long run time so that I don't have to figure out what I'm watching next every five minutes. <laughs> I couldn't get past the art style. I did that with two series this weekend. Yeah, what, you, well, what series did you I watch? Finished Letter Kenny. Okay. And I watched season three of Cobra Kai. Wasn't it awesome? I finished oh, that earlier today. It was so, so, hey, so great. Just so y'all are aware, um, we're very ADD, or at least I am. I'm not going to remember to say spoiler warning. So I'll try my best. How about that? Yeah. So if you haven't watched all of Cobra Kai yet. Or Letterkenny for that matter. Or Letterkenny. Which if you haven't watched Letterkenny, you should definitely give Letterkenny a shot. I wouldn't really call it nerdy, but it's it's still really good. If you have to take it in small doses, take it in small doses, but enjoy it whenever, whenever you watch it. Yeah. Yeah. How about that last episode of Cobra Kai though, this season? <sighs> I was definitely happier with this season finale than I was with season two's. The writing is getting a lot better. Well, season two's finale just pissed me off. It was, like, it was such just, a cliffhanger. 
like you just you leave it with Miguel in the hospital with uh with Kreese taking over Cobra Kai. Yeah. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? What are you supposed to do with that? Yeah, I guess wait a few months for Yeah. I mean, and we saw Johnny at the end of it completely lost. Yeah. Just given up all hope. Mm -hmm. How does he get back on track in season three? You know, somebody who uh for a character that talks about you know perseverance as much as he does, he Mm -hmm. sure does quit easy. Yeah. He does that. Yeah. He likes to throw around, you know, terms that are not quite PC these days. We're gonna go PC with this thing or not. Nah. Nah. He likes to use the word pussy a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean he likes to So do we though. (laughs) (laughs) We're not usually recording when we say that. No, (laughs) no, it's usually us just fucking with each other in the gym. Right. Yeah. Well, that's it's a lot of fun. But yeah, for you're right. For somebody that you know is he coins himself as a a tough guy, he sure does fall under pressure. Yeah, it's easily. like the moment things get a little bit tough, he he just he throws it all away and he goes on a bender and winds up in winds up in jail. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. Like how's he supposed to do that? I don't know. It, it uh but you know, you watch season three. It he he came a long way. Yes, well, and just season without three fully. definitely leaves on a good note. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I'm really glad that we're deciding to record this now. When uh, because one of one of the uh one of the things that I've been worried about with starting this podcast up because we originally wanted to record the first episode a couple months ago, but then we realized that we did not have a good setup to do that. We still we have an okay setup right now, but it can still get a lot better. We've got one that we can work with. The original plan was we were going to start recording when season two of Mandalorian drops. So that way we could actually talk about the episodes that they go. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, around the same time that we decided to fire up the podcast, we were also moving into a 7,600 square foot building. So the, the business wound up taking priority over starting the podcast. Uh and we we're kind of worried about con- uh, what kind of content we we're going to have. Right. But uh, we're yeah, kind of hitting a sweet spot right off the bat. Yeah. 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 And there's always going to be something new coming out. Right. Like, what's next on the horizon for you as far as what you're going to pay attention to coming out? Um, mm, Marvel's been pushing WandaVision a lot lately mm-hmm. on Disney+. Plus. That drops later this month, doesn't it? I think so. That's going to be exciting. That is going to be exciting. That's going to... Yeah, that's going to visit some more of the MCU. Mm -hmm. And uh, man, there's just so much. And and there's one thing I worry about Mm -hmm. with all the content. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. I really am. I just hope they don't saturate things over the next few years. They're going to. I guarantee it. Well, it's... But they're going to do it in a good way, I think. Right. Like one thing I'm excited about is the fact that WandaVision is going to tie into the Doctor Strange sequel and the new Spider-Man sequel. Yeah. And I have a feeling that uh, WandaVision is also what's going to bring Kang the Conqueror into the fold as well. And he's going to be the big villain for the next Avengers. And I'm fine with that. I am too. I am. Definitely. Yeah. They... It would... When they did, when when John Favreau came up with Iron Man and really launched what we know as the MCU now, uh, you know it was a good solid decades worth of slow mm-hmm. burning material, and it worked. Mm-hmm. My goodness, it worked, and it, it, we got to see so much. And but there at the end, when everything started, you know they started putting a bow on things Mm -hmm. for that period of time it did become a little much yeah i think it did anyway how about you i really like how they ended things okay so i'm not gonna lie i kind of zoned out there for a second (laughs) no and, 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 and let me tell you all why and I'm not going to make you repeat all that because it's not fair to the listeners for well, you to have to repeat all that. I said it into a microphone. It's forever. Okay. So, yeah. so I'll give you my thoughts later. <laughs> but what I'm worried about, and it kind of caught my eye, is I'm looking at the screen of us recording. Yeah. 
and you'll notice there's a delay. So what my brain started wondering is, is it the delay in the recording also in the audio? Or am I going to have to spend several hours going through and syncing everything up? Fingers crossed that we don't. <laughs> Fingers You don't crossed. have to. But yeah. If right. I do, it, it's not going to be a big deal. Okay. And uh, like, like once you get it synced in the very beginning, it should be synced through the whole thing. Okay. So hopefully that is the case. So as far as lifting goes, uh, what kind of, what program are you running right now? Right now I am running, um, just to keep me back on track with things, I'm running a program called Shortcut Shred. Okay. Um, it's very, it, it's just really a general lifting. It's a six week program. It does good with periodization. Mm -hmm. uh, you hit all the rep ranges, you hit all the, the, prime movers and everything like that it's just a simple uh, you know big lift plus mm -hmm. accessories on different days kind of thing cool cool and what are your goals as far as the next few months what are you trying to accomplish next few months um i am now signed up for the downtown throwdown it is a strongman core competition in jackson mississippi mm -hmm. uh february 6th cool, uh cool. I'm going to go up there that day, give it my best. And yeah, if everything works out, I'll bring a little hardware home. Mm -hmm. But And y'all yeah. write that date down. If you're in the Jackson, Mississippi area, I keep looking at the computer, like the camera's right there. The camera's <laughs> all the way on the other side of the room. Uh, so in the future, I might need to throw a sheet over this Yeah, because that's twice now that it screwed us up. Okay. Anyway, mm -hmm. if y'all are in that area, definitely go and see it. We're actually sponsoring that competition. They're going to be using our, uh, our rig for the car deadlift. Should be very, very exciting. Uh, come out, support the team. We'd love to meet y'all. Uh, so as far as me, my goals right now, I don't have any competition on the horizon, but last, last January, I started a cut and it was a very successful. And then COVID-19 happened. And I lost all that ground. So now I'm basically back to square one. I'm trying to redo that cut. Hopefully it's going to be just successful. I'm a good bit stronger now than I was last time I did that cut. So I um, should have more muscle mass. that will help me uh, help that cut go a little bit easier now. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where we're at. And, uh, you know, just like everybody else, we're trying to go into 2021, you know, trying to push past all this, uh, nonsense that is COVID-19 uh, and all the other nonsense that came with 20, all the other nonsense. Yeah. Ridiculous. It, 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 it was a bit ridiculous, but, um, as far as the strength world goes and the nerd world goes, it, 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 it went pretty well, as well as it could have for a year like this. So, um, you know, first few months, we we got what we wanted to uh, accomplish. Um, what about, you know, the rest of the year? What, 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 what do we want? We definitely want to grow this thing. Yes. And, and when I say this thing, my bad, not just this podcast, but this entire thing. Atlas. Well, just like last year, pretty much all of my goals are related more to the business side of things. Um, for those of y'all that have been following Atlas for a while, y'all probably know I'm also full-time in the military. Uh, I got my leave beard going on right now. You got to <laughs> shave that off here in a couple of days when I go back to work. I want to make it to where I don't have to do that anymore. So the goal over here is build Atlas to about 100 members so that I can actually leave the military and do this full time because I love this kind of stuff. Um, about a year ago, we had a we had, we had a YouTube video going out every week. We we're doing blog posts every week. I like to get back into that. I like to where we can have these regularly so that y'all can hear those, and so that uh, so that William over at Unmasked Studios gets his money's worth as far as sponsorship goes. And we like to bring other sponsors on as well. So I definitely want to grow Atlas's gym. I want to grow this podcast. And yeah, I just want to have a good year. I want to have a better year than last year. Absolutely. I think that's what we all want. Yeah. And if you or somebody you know wants to sponsor us as far as this podcast goes, um, reach out to us. 
talk to us. There has to be something we can work out. Um, you know, we, we will push you as much as we push us. And, and we've, we've got a good platform of things going here and we'd love for y'all to be a part of it. Like, look, about what a month and a half ago back, Tyler did the one inch cha- or one chip challenge. <laughs> yeah. Just to raise awareness for that. And if he's willing to put his body through that, imagine what he'll put his body through for you. Yes. Um, maybe not the one chip challenge again. I mean, it, just talk to me. I may do it. Who knows? But um, yeah, we can definitely get your, uh, get your name out there for anything you want. Um, man, I'm lost. You're lost. <laughs> I'm lost. All I right. kind of zoned out there myself. It happens. Yeah. All right. So if there is one universal truth that, cause me and Tyler both listen to a lot of podcasts and I'm sure that the podcast you listen to all said the same thing. Your first few episodes are going to kind of suck. Yeah. So it's good that we're getting us out of the way now. Right. I promise we're going to get better because we're, we're, we're going to work at this. Yeah. We're going to be seasoned before you know it. And mm, if you seasoned. have suggestions, if you have things you like, things you didn't like, let us know. We'll work on things. Um, if, the, if there's something we need to improve or anything like that. This sounds an awful lot like a wrap up. Is that what we're doing right now? Not necessarily. Okay, because it sounds an awful lot like a wrap up. <sighs> so, what show are you watching right now? What am I watching right now? Well, I, I watched Letter Kenny and Cobra Kai over the weekend. Okay, so, so, wrap those up. What's um, the next one? Uh, my wife and I, uh, we've, I've already watched it once through, and there's four seasons of it, but uh, there's a TV show called Brockmar. Okay, what's that about? Um, it is a, about a, a baseball announcer that has an on-air meltdown mm-hmm. over his wife cheating on him. Okay. And from there, it chronicles his effort back from calling baseball games in like this really poor run downtown for mm-hmm. a minor league team back into the major leagues it's a comedy series. And are you familiar with a guy named Hank Azaria? The name sounds familiar. He did like half the voices on The Simpsons. Okay. Yeah. He's 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 very good voice actor, but he's also a a good on screen actor. But okay. he plays a fella named Jim Brockmeyer and he's a functioning alcoholic. So okay. yeah, that it it makes for good good content okay uh, but yeah that's what i'm kind of watching right now all right uh you may have picked up on it but tyler is also a huge sports nerd so stats history yeah yeah we'll delve into He's that a little bit if you lot. want yeah oh sounds sounds like you got somebody somebody's here yeah, yeah we're just leaving <laughs> uh but yeah that's what i'm on what are you on right now uh well i also just wrapped up cobra kai so you mm-hmm. knew that uh, one of the shows that I'm watching right now, I'm re-watching Hannibal, which you okay. ever saw that. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of Hannibal Lecter's character. Yeah. Uh, in Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, Red Dragon, all those movies. Right. And a few years ago, they actually put out a series and they put it on Netflix just a few, a uh, few, probably about a month and a half ago now, something like that. Yeah. So I've been re-watching that. I am also re-watching Dragon Ball Z Abridged on YouTube right now, uh, which that's one of my big fandoms is Dragon Ball Z. Uh, I have a huge, uh, ever since the very first episode of Dragon Ball all the way until Super, uh, I've watched every episode probably about a dozen times. Uh, and what Dragon Ball Z abridged is, if you know Dragon Ball Z, you probably know Dragon Ball Z abridged just because it's been around for about 10 years now. But on YouTube, a, t- uh, a channel called Team Four Star re-edited everything, made it a lot shorter and redubbed it to be funny. <laughs> and there is a video it's like 11 and a half hours long where they've got every episode from episode one all the way up until uh, episode 60 put on there. So I'm probably got about another day of watching that. And then I got to find something new. So please drop your suggestions down in the comments, message me on Instagram. We would love to know what you suggest that we watch next. Uh, And yeah, I'll watch it. We'll talk about it. 
we'll have a grand old time. Let us, yeah, like he said, let us know what you want us to talk about, um, anything and everything. If we don't know about it, we'll do our best to know about it. Um, even if the situation's right, we may just do a watch along. If we, we're going to have to practice on, mm -hmm. on some things before we do a watch along. We just got to make sure we're careful about the watch alongs though, because, uh, copyright issues. Yeah. yeah. True. But we got the TV right there that we can, right. uh, it's actually, I'm pointing at it. It's behind the camera. Yeah. Uh, we can watch it there. We record our reactions. We just got to make sure that the sound's not on there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, we'll give like a three count so that we can start watching it at the same time. Yeah. Crap absolutely. like that. It'll yeah. probably be a lot easier to get away with things like that for uh, for older movies. There's also some other stuff we really want to do. Like uh, if you follow Atlas, you probably know who Lauren Wells is. She's one of our members. She is not nerdy at all. But one of the series that we want to do is where me and Tyler basically just explain a movie from start to finish and just kind of gauge her reaction like uh like just start it scene one a new hope screen pans across huge spaceship mm -hmm. and just go scene by scene from the best of our memory and just see if she can kind of follow along with the story and get right. involved with the characters just from us talking about it i think that'd be very interesting to do right. um we're also going to have guests in the future too um I know that you've gathered a few people yep. as far as guests go. Um, tell them some of the things we can expect to discuss with some of our guests as far as their things go. Well, that really depends on the guest. Well, you know, um, our good friend, David Gable. All right. So uh, here in Baton Rouge, there's another gym called Gym Fit. And they have a kind of subgroup called Bayou Cirque. And they're a, they're a local circus troupe. Uh, so one of the things we want to do is we want to get, uh, get David Gable in here. He's one of the main guys involved in their circus troupe. And we want to talk about the growing circus scene here in Louisiana. And David Gable is also a huge Dungeons and Dragons fan. So uh, we're going to kind of have him explain. Uh, I think Tyler's more familiar with Dungeons and Dragons than I am. I, I really know nothing about it. So we're going to kind of have him explain exactly what that is about. And down the road, uh, Gal will actually record some of the games that we have going on, see if we can get a campaign going. Absolutely. So, yeah, we got a lot of big plans. They're not entirely fleshed out yet. Uh, we're making this up as we go. We don't know what we're doing, but we're learning fast. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, and more than anything, we're going to have a good time with it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. That's planned anyway. Yeah. Let's see. Like we've been going, what, about 30, 35 minutes now? Probably. No, go thing, ahead. For as fancy as that thing is, you don't have a counter on it. Well, it's, it's got the bottom right screen. I just uh, I looked at the time when we you started. You bust my I, balls, I bust your balls. Yeah, yeah, I start. I started. I looked at the time when we started our second take. Yeah, but not when we started the take after that. Huh. Uh, but we've been going probably about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, now. time isn't real. It's man made. Time is man made. Yes. Um, <laughs> But I'm thinking it's about time for us to go ahead and wrap this one up. Yeah, let's wrap this up. And, uh, um, this should be, hopefully, plenty for people to feed off of and discuss mm -hmm. and, you know, shoot us messages, talk, do all those things. Yep, I agree. Yep. Uh, if you want to support us, which hopefully after listening to us for this long, you do, you can do that a few ways. You can go and support Ethan. Um, Ethan. You can go and support William over at Unmasked Studios. Go check his stuff out. Give him a follow. Uh, if you like, if you like his stuff enough to get one of his cosplays, order a custom cosplay. He'll hook you up. Another way that you can support us is you can go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Uh, what Strikeforce Energy is is a veteran-owned energy supplement company. You just uh, they come in little ten-ounce packets that you can put in a water bottle, or you can give them pump bottles like this. You put it in the code Atlas Strength at checkout, and you're gonna save some money. We get a little kickback from that. Another way you can support us is you can actually go to atlasstrength.com, atlasstrengthshop.com, and you can purchase programs. We do custom programming. We'll do 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 16 weeks, and we also do a month by month way as well. So if you want to get some programming, if you're a strength athlete and you uh, need a little bit of direction, we can definitely help you out with that. Uh, am I forgetting anything, Tyler? T-shirts. T-shirts. Yes, we also have T-shirts available as well. 
best thing to do for those is check Instagram because not all the styles are available on the website. Pretty soon we'll be coming out with some t-shirts with the Atlas Nerds and Iron logo on them as well. But for now, it is mainly the Atlas Strength Shop like I am wearing. Got a few different designs for that. Just shoot a, shoot a message. Uh, we'll let you know what sizes, what styles we have, um, and see if we can't get you hooked up on one if you're interested. Yep. Uh, but in the meantime, at the very least, go to iTunes, Spotify, give us a five-star rating. If you don't think we're worth five stars, shoot me a message. Let me know why. We're going to go ahead and try to improve on that. Also give the Atlas Strength Shop and the Atlas Nerds and Iron Podcast a follow on Facebook and Instagram. It really helps us out to have that exposure. Right. All right. Well, am I forgetting anything? No. Um, how are we going to sign off on this thing, man? I don't know. I figured we'd just tell people bye. Bye. Hey, until next time. Uh, this, this is Cameron. This is Tyler. Atlas Nerds and Iron Podcast. Later. Oh, God. All right. <laughs>